out of the shotgun. Back to throw, now has room to run, fakes the run, now unloads deep. Ball hangs up, and, and it is picked off by the Blue Dragons at the 35-yard line. That ball hung up in the wind just long enough for Blue Dragon defensive back Asher Goldston. Render takes the snap, and will decide to run with it, and he gets popped, popped hard at the 46-yard line. 208-pounder, out of the gun, takes the snap, fakes a pump left, now throws it up, and it is going to be picked off again, this time in the Hutchinson end zone. Second pick of the game for Blue Dragon defensive back Asher Goldston. Sometimes when it's your day, it's your day, and for Asher, it's been his day early. Now three wide outs, right one to the left. McKenzie fakes a handoff, throws it up in the middle of the field. Caught in the middle of the field at the 30 and taken out to the 40, to the 45, and fumbled by May after making his way all the way to the 48-yard line. Gonna say They're going to say he was down, and the Blue Dragons can breathe a sigh of relief each about 50% of the time. It's hard to say there's a one and a two. And there's room up the middle for Park, and he is somersaulted to the turf, but not before he picks up 13. We're eight games deep into the schedule. And all of a sudden, it is Park finding a hole, and he bangs his way out across the 35 to the 36. Two wide outs to the left, two to the right. Render will roll right, now throws back. It is popped up in the air and picked off by the Blue Dragons in the end zone. One of the Dragon defensive backs got a hand on it, and finishing it off was Jordan Noel. It is the third pick of the first quarter for the Blue Dragons. It's all over the football field. Now he fakes a handoff to Ming and is grabbed and pulled down in the backfield on a nice defensive play by Josh Amonfo for the Blue Dragons. And a touchdown. Now back to Paul. Paul starts right, cuts back left, over the middle of the field, 10-5, touchdown. And we check the field for flags, and there are none. And the Blue Dragons have scored their first points of the afternoon. And the Dragons have Terry in the backfield. Kalen Ben is the quarterback. And Ben gives off to Polk, and Polk has good blocking, gets to the right edge, still on his feet, first down at the 50, and out of bounds. Can't say the same in Garden City a couple of weeks. Dragons have an open receiver in the middle of the field, catch made at the 35-yard line, and taken down inside the 30, trips left. Kalen Ben in the gun, comes back as pressure arrives, and Ben is back and he is fumbled. It is picked up by the Blue Dragons in advance down to about the 10-yard line. A work job for the Blue Dragons by Tanner Stallings. And the Scotties go back to Ming and he is buried way behind the line of scrimmage. Another tremendous play for the Blue Dragons by Kyle Wilson. Not back very deep. I don't think he's buying into the fact the Dragons will go with a fake and they'll pick up a first down. Well, with what amounted to a little bit of a reverse and the Blue Dragons will pick up a badly needed first down. It needs some points and Paul makes a nice spin move to break loose. He's at the 20, he's at the 15, he's at the 10, five touchdown, Trayvon Paul. Ming. They fake, uh, they give him the football, and Ming is put down in a hurry. You probably figure on winning at Independence in the last game of the year. Dragons throw it out to Logan Mays. He's been a consistent, good receiver. Jumps over a defender, takes it down the sideline to about the 22-yard line. Good job, Logan Mays. He continues to play with enthusiasm. The Scotties of Highland beat Hutchinson 31-12. to 12.